Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everybody's staying safe. At least I know I am. Especially from the heat out there, it's like 115 degrees. But now that I'm inside the building, I can cool off a little. So, let's start off on the map, okay? So, first thing is, if you still don't have my email address, or even if you're new to the class, okay? My email address is up here. Make sure you have it down. Also, my name is Mr. Rivera, okay? So, before we start with the concept today, let's recap a little what we learned last class. Remember, last class we learned about functions. Remember? All right, remember, functions are like this straight line. That's a function. Also, functions like this u. That's also a function. Remember, touches the line only once if we take out our Magic pencil, in this case, my ruler, right? Some there are in functions. For example, this circle is not a function because it touches more than once. Okay, now that we remember, we got that back in our, our heads about functions and not functions. We can start on today's concept. All right, guys, so coordinate points, so you guys can see up here on the board. It's usually an X and a Y or a set of points that tells you where a point and a graph is located, okay? So, remember, your horizontal line is your X, your vertical one is your Y. So a coordinate point or coordinate set of points tells you where the location of a point is located. Now that we know the very basics, we can start graphing our first example. All right, guys, now that we know what functions are, what coordinate points are, we can actually start graphing some points to connect them to see what kind of shape it does. Once we do that, we have to do the vertical line test to see if it's a function or not, okay? So let's start off by graphing some points. We have four points, okay, that we have to graph. The first point is located at point A. It's located at negative three and five. Our second point is located at negative two and five. <clears throat> Our third point is located at one, three, and then our final point is located at two and three, okay? You have our four points. Make sure you have them down on your paper. Now that we have our four points, we can actually graph them. So here's my graph. Let's start off with our first point. Remember, our x and our y's. Remember, always, always label. It makes it a lot easier to graph, okay? So we have our x, we have our y. So let's start off with the first one. Our point A, A is located at negative 3 and 5. So on our x-axis, we're going to move 3 to the left, okay? Because it's negative. We start off at the origin, which is 0. Then we go 1, 2, 3. That's negative 3, but... Remember, we also have to go to 5 on the y, which is on top because it's positive. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now we're going to put our dot at about there. So negative 3, comma 5. That's our first point. Our second point is located at negative 2 and 5. Okay? So, again, x, negative 2, and then we're going to go up to 5. That's our point B. We can start by connecting those two points, point A, point B. Now we're going to go to point C, which is at 1 and 3. Now we're going to go into the positive sides on the x, 
one, and then we're gonna go up three. And then that's our third point. And then our final point is located at two on the X, so two, and then three up. So now we can connect all four points. We have A, B, C, and D. So, now that we have our shape, we graphed all our points, we have our shape, we connected it off. We're gonna take our pencil, okay? This is my pencil. We're gonna do the vertical line test to see if it's a function. Notice that as I'm going, it only touches once throughout the whole graph. So, this is a function, okay? So the answer is yes, it is a function, okay? So, now, now that you know how to graph the points and how to do the vertical line test, I'm gonna have a few problems for you. Remember, you have to graph them and then connect them and tell me if it's, if it's a function or not, okay? So let's get started on the assignment. All right, guys, your first problem is Point A is located at 3, negative 4. Point B is located at 1 and 0. Point C is located at 2, negative 2. And then point D is located at three and two, okay? Now that you have your points, that's your first example, your first problem, okay? Make sure you label them, you graph them, and then tell me if it's a function. And for your second example, you have A equals, or A equals the point, zero and four. B is located at negative 3, negative 2. C is located at 3 and 2. And then finally, D is located at 5 and 1. All right? So make sure you graph them. You tell me if it's a function or not. Submit your work. Also, submit your notes. This way I can verify that you're taking down notes. So I'll be hearing from you soon.